Hey, what's going on, guys? So in this video, we're going to be talking about this new Rural Australia content now available for free in the Epic Marketplace. Now, this right here is what I'm talking about when I say we need more photorealistic environments, not video game environments, but movie sets, if you would. So go ahead and download this because I have no idea how long this is going to be for free. But this map is incredible, and thank you, Andrew Hamilton, for providing this uh, asset pack here. So I have it open already in our engine, and we set it to 4K because by default it's 1280 as far as the editor. So we set the resolution to 3840 by 2160. I think what's going on is it's windowed mode. So uh, we already have it here. There are three different maps built. And it has the content as well just to showcase what it includes, man. This is, I'm excited because I'm really hoping this is the beginning of assets being available for us to download as far as photorealism. I mean, take a look at this thing. And I'm going to try to move my mouse as slow as I can. And we're going to take a walk here like our usual walk through and... I'm trying to make more of these videos so I can maybe spark some of you guys out there who are really talented. Maybe you guys should start getting into mega scans because these looks pretty these assets look like mega scan assets, but I really don't know if they are. Um they might be custom photo scan, but just take a look at this. You can have when I look at this environment, you can have like a you know like a jet fight scene or you know, like a fishing movie. This is just really exciting stuff. And with Unreal Engine 5 coming out. Oh my goodness. Can you just imagine? And again, I'm speaking for creating movies. I'm not saying video games. Because to me, this asset is not really a video game asset. Because it's not that... It's not big enough, and it doesn't have all those physics that you guys are asking for, like wind and water simulation and so on and so forth. But for a cinematic, let's go take a look at this rock quick. For a cinematic set, I mean, guys, this is top notch. Check out the water. You got some displacement going on, some reflection on the clouds. I mean, this is just incredible. And I've been trying to go. Oh, it looks like there's a blocking volume there, so I can't go any further. I've been trying to go to Australia for the longest time, but I've just been afraid because I heard everything's trying to kill you there. But I think people would say that's America now too. But All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at the example one. Let's save this. Alright, so I am playing in the pie here, and it's doing a pretty good job. Alright, so we have our orc here, and let's walk around. Let's look at that rock there. Looks pretty good. What's crazy about Photoscan assets is that they are real. <laughs> you know, they're, I mean, high resolution cameras can capture, I mean, there was such a huge resolution war between cameras. I think they're still going on right now. So having these guys create these photo scan assets, I don't care if it's 3D scan or photo scans, it just looks so incredible. So for this scene, I'm thinking maybe like a car broke down. You know, you can have a short about that. There's, whenever I look at these, it's just kind of like, what's the story? Like... What can you do here? And that's what I'm thinking. Maybe I'll make one that had, you know, somebody like a car breaking down. Let's look at this fallen tree real quick. Sorry, squirrel moment there. And I know I've kind of been bringing up like when I was a kid comparing stuff, and it's just so cool to see how far. We've come in two decades, maybe three, I would say two, two and a half decades, playing on a little Atari, Nintendo, Game Boy to this. What's going to happen 20 years? Well, I don't know. 
but imagine 20 years from now. And there is some leaves falling down. Which is cool because it actually sticks to the ground as well. So this is the first one. You can have a driving scene here. I'm pretty sure you guys will find stuff to do for this scene. Really, really amazing stuff. Alright, so let's take a look at the last one. Example 3. Oh, that was example 3, wasn't it? No, no, this is example 3. This is similar. It's just like a highway. And this is more like the outback right here. Put some animals in there. Put some dinosaurs in there if you want. But this is what I want. Photorealistic set for Unreal Engine 4. You know, not video games, sets. So just enough for like two people talking, camera for that. Maybe a 180, 180 uh, camera angle. Here's that tree. This looks amazing. But yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. Like I said, if after watching this video, Go check it out, because I'm not sure how long this is going to be a fee for, but this asset is definitely, it needs to be in your library, like, right now. So you want to learn Unreal Engine 4, but majority of the videos out there are for video game creations. Maybe I can help with that. I just created a beginner's course on how to make a movie inside Unreal Engine 4. In an hour and 40 minutes, I'm going to teach you how to install Unreal Engine 4 to create your very first CG animation. Unreal Engine is the future. And this video is the perfect introduction to it.